Hi there, everybody. Thank you for joining us at St Mary's Stadium in Southampton today, the venue for our game, which Alan Smith will describe along with me, Martin Tyler. Southampton in action today against West Ham United. Well, they're starting to hunt down the opposition again, aren't they, the Wolves? And it's a very good effort so far. And the league table is uh, good for their fans to look at. Well, we're well past the halfway mark in this season, aren't we? And they've still got a, a great show to finish in a Champions League spot. I mean, if they could see it through, what a huge difference it would make to this football club. Southampton hoping that they can reach the same heights again as they did in their away win against Huddersfield Town. Yeah, I think it might be a bit tougher than that 2-0 victory, so I've got them down for a draw. Here's the Southampton team for you. Matt Target plays with Cedric Suarez in the fullback position. And it's good to see that they've got two strikers looking to provide the goal threat for them. Thank you for attending St. Mary's. West Ham United's lineup is this. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man. So here we go, we're underway here. It's Ward Prowse. Lanzini. Obiang. Very different to the old Dell ground, where Southampton, where you had to be shoehorned into the stadium. Capacity of only 15,000. It's much bigger here at St Mary's, and it's very much a, a symbol of the modern-day development of the football club, Southampton Football Club. Yeah, it's a nice ground. It's, it's similar to quite a few in, in England these days, but the Southampton fans have, have come along, and they get good crowds here at St Mary's. It's a good place to win the ball here. Saw the goal and went for it. Oh, that's great work by the goalkeeper. Being closed down. Really anticipating something special from him here today. His ability on the ball is second to none, Martin, and his teammates will be anxious to feed him that ball as much as they can. Well, let's hear what Alan mcinally has got to tell us about from Old Trafford. It's a goal for Huddersfield Town. Ten minutes played, 1-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally. Keep... He's given the free kick with no sign of the card. Maybe he just wants to make sure he's not made a rod for his own back with an early booking. No card, Alan. Maybe sensible from the referee this early. Yeah, they don't tend to like to flash the yellow card early on. But you could argue 15 minutes down the line, he would have been booked for that. He's cut it out. Well, I like the look of this attack. Obia looking for an opening with some good controlled build up. It's Ward Prowse. Now Stephen Davis. Elianusi. Gabbiadini. Whipped in from the wide area. Defended well. That will be a corner. Well, I think the player's had a word in the manager's ear, hasn't he? we surprised to see him in the team. Maybe he's talked his way into it. Well, maybe, and now is the time to uh, back that talk up. He's been playing well in the reserves. So... He worked so hard on his heading. He needs to do a bit more work, I think. Yeah, the keeper's waving that one bye-bye. For West Ham, a genuine challenge, but a genuine prospect of victory if they get it right against today's opposition. They might have played him in here. Or he could be in. Shots on here. Shot blocked here. That tackle has 
Just changed the emphasis of this passage of play. They're on the front foot now. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. He's got his shot off now. He's had a real go. It's a decent effort, that, with plenty of sting in it. Yeah, not far away. He really did visit, didn't he? Cedric. James Ward-Prowse. Here's Cedric Suarez. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. I think the wide man's got it. And now gets his cross in. Lanzini into the attacking third going forward well Zabaleta Marco Arnautovic what a good piece of defensive clearance that was Obiang in comes the challenge Manolo Gabbiadini and now a throw in Obiang. Nice bit of footwork from the attacker, but it was made too easy for him for defending that. He's trying to catch the player in possession. Cedric. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Elianusi. Could be dangerous. And the goalkeeper has done well to stop that one. Carlos Sanchez. Marco Arnautovic. Threads it through. Antonio. Arnautovic. Obiang. And they're keeping the ball. The shot's on. He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact, the power, but accuracy just off. And up goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. Here's Cedric Suarez. And in he goes with the tackle. Well, that is half time, and the score is nil nil here. Well, the word average comes to mind about his first half. What do you think, Alan? Well, let's face it, he hasn't played particularly well. It's been poor so far, and his team needs him in the second half. The start now of the second period. Marco Arnautovic. In towards the near post. That was a good crossing position, but not a good cross. Carlos Sanchez. Lanzini. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Just couldn't keep it, West Ham. Cut out the pass. And shoots! The referee spotted that deflection, he's pointed for the corner. There's been plenty of warming up going on, and now I think one of the substitutes will be brought into the game. Lanzini, trying to get behind the defenders to get in a good cross. Ward Prowse just working away to try and find an opening good block a little too eager to get in behind the opposition caught offside what do you think about West Ham's next game 
Well, they're playing Burnley in their next match. To put them in front. And this is a goal. Well, how long's it been on? One or two minutes, I'm not sure, but he's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal. When he hit it, I think he might have been worried that it would go over the bar, but it was below the bar, certainly off the bottom of the bar and in. Yeah, I'm not sure whether he actually meant to hit it that high up, but uh, he doesn't care now. He's loving that goal. It'll be a throw now after the tackle. Makes the challenge here. Zabaleta. It's Ward Prowse. Well, he's tried his shot not far away at all. Well, if they keep creating chances, I'm sure they'll take one. That was a decent effort, you know. Well, it was an ambitious effort, and it nearly produced a great reward. Well, it would have been a heck of a goal to score from that distance. Surprised he tried, actually. Well, it might be a good idea just to get a fresh player on and cement their position as they look to hold on to this lead. Obiang. No cross, good block. To Davis. Got on the ball in midfield, well read by the player in that part of the pitch. Felipe Anderson, well he's tried for his second goal of the game, keepers got the better of him this time. Well you thought there was only one winner there, but in the end it was the, the keeper that came forward and did the business. He's coming forward with some danger. Manolo Gabbiadini. Here's Davis. The shot's home. Corner for Southampton, who are behind. Oh, listen to the noise here. Urging their side on to try and find the equaliser. Played in by Ward Prowse. Just too high, just over with the header. Yeah, nice firm connection. Unlucky. And 20 minutes to go. Lanzini. Felipe Anderson. Well, that's not so much an interception as a poor pass. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. And here's the shot. He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact, the power, but accuracy just off. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Manolo Gabbiadini. Ings. Chance to cross it. Gabbiadini! Got up well, but couldn't keep it down. Oh, the keeper was rooted to the spot, wasn't going to get there. Now, here's a chance to get at the opposition. And they're looking good when they get the ball out wide, as they've done here. Lanzini. Felipe Anderson, he's reached it and turned it aside. That's gone behind, it'll be a corner for West Ham. To be replaced by number 21, Angelo Obama. Corner's taken. Out in front of goal. Good block. Can they draw level here with five minutes left? Well, the noise in here. These fans, they're like the 12th man trying to cheer their players up. 
Angelo Ogbonna. Oh, well, we've got a goal to tell you about Alan McAnally from the King Power Stadium. It's a second goal for Leicester City. It's been Could he really wrap it up now? And he's flagged offside. Yeah, Emil Hoybjerg. Manolo Gabbiadini. Ings. Now a shot! They blocked it then. Three minutes from the referee via the fourth official. That's the decision. Free kick against Southampton. For the ref, a decision, and the decision is yellow. I don't think anybody, least of all the player, didn't have any complaints about that. Cleared away, well away from goal. Good vision here. Felipe Anderson. Maybe the cross. That's an excellent cross. Cross that's fisted away by the keeper. Lanzini. Oh, now to it! To the rescue, and how? West Ham have won it. They've won it in good style. A good part of the season has gone now, and they've lost, and they can't go on losing matches like this no it can become a habit a nasty one at this stage in the season they've just got to try and correct one or two flaws that we saw out there some final thoughts on one of the better performers today alan he was always the man to watch for the opposition but they couldn't keep tabs on him at the vital moment there when he grabbed that goal